I posted a, I think it was a short video on Instagram of the barn during a snowstorm last week. And Jay Bates asked, how do I heat the barn? And that's a question that I get from time to time. So I thought I'd talk about that, but I wanted to just cover a little bit of, I guess, news, uh, just kind of what's coming up. Uh, number one, the, uh, the winner of the giveaway and the viewer projects slideshow, the new slideshow will be posted next Wednesday. We're gonna shoot the video, I think, on Tuesday, and I'll either post it uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. So, uh, so that's when that's coming. And part two of the TV lift cabinet, I'm going to post that a week from Sunday because I'm just kind of falling behind and I don't want to rush the project and I don't want to rush the video. I just want to sort of take my time and um, make both the video and the cabinet that I think are good. So uh, I will have a project though for, for this Sunday and that's also news, I guess. I'm going to post my project videos on Sunday. So this week's uh, project, this is, I'll keep it a surprise. This is a project that a, I've had a request for for a number of years, and maybe I'll give you a, a little hint with a close-up shot at the end of this video if you want to guess. But this is, uh, this is fun, and it kind of uh, just takes me a little bit away from, I can work on this project and the TV lift cabinet at the same time. So uh, on other news, my son Michael has started a channel, and his channel is going to focus on a little bit of DIY, health and fitness. Um, I, I'm not sure, but maybe some gardening, the beekeeping, things like that. And I helped him with his first video on Sunday. And if you want to see that, I'll put a link on the screen right here. We had a lot of fun. He's, uh, he's a funny kid. Uh, so anyway, um, so that's what's going on. Now, as far as heating the barn, the downstairs of the barn is heated with an eight foot long oil-filled electric baseboard hooked up to 220. And it really does a nice job. And for the most part, I keep the heater on low. And because I'm working and I dress warm, I'm comfortable. If I'm doing work where I'm not moving as much or if it's really cold out, I will pump it up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, I can just keep it on low. The barn is insulated really well. I rebuilt this barn when Laurel and I first bought the house, my wife Laurel. And um, it was the, the barn was falling down. There was basically two and a half walls. We jacked up the barn, put a new foundation under this wall and the east wall, and the whole upstairs is, is pretty much new. And when I did that, I insulated everything, and so it's pretty good. Now, as far as heating the upstairs of the barn, I skimped out and I regret it. I used a four-foot piece of... Uh, electric oil filled baseboard. It's only hooked up to 110 and it, it barely works. And to supplement that, I use a, an Eden Pure heater. You've probably seen the infomercials for those. And between the two of them, it works pretty good, but, um, but not that great. And when I know that I'm going to be working uh, in the upstairs of the barn, I'll get up real early and turn the heat up full blast, both heaters. And by the time I get out there, uh, it's, it's usually warm enough. So anyway, that's what's going on. I hope that you tune in on Sunday to see this project, and I'll see you then.